chain my sorrows, I chain my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I chain my sickness, I chain my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. We're going to pray, guys. You guys going to help us pray for the tithe? Yeah. All right, come on. Let's all bow our heads together. And we'll pray for the tithe this morning. Father, we just thank you so much for the opportunity to give. God, we only can give because you are the greatest giver that ever gave, God. And so this morning, God, as we give, Father God, we just thank you that you take that blessing, God, you multiply it, and you use it for your kingdom. God, let it expand, let it grow, Father. Let more and more people come to know you through this church, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I know this weekend I've been personally listening to a ton of what they do. So even though this ministry is kind of at the kids, it's also at you too. So you know, get ready to experience some of that today. You know, ask the Holy Spirit about what He wants to show you and the different things that are happening today. Amen. So I'm really excited about that. All right. So everybody's been saying the Jeffers from Chambers Camp. They're well, they're kind of from Chambers Camp. They minister there all the time. I know Kathleen went there as a child at Chambers Camp. Um, but they're actually from Springville, uh, New York. So um, we're just so excited about having them uh, today. So let's all clap happy for the Jeffers today. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of things with your kids. As you can see, they don't normally dress like superheroes, I don't think, do they? No. Some of you don't seem to be enjoying that a little too much. I don't know. Maybe. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk about this guy on the screen right here today a little bit. Why am I looking like that? Other than I thought it would be really cool to be a superhero. We're going to talk about that today and what that really means and why you might already be a superhero right now, even if you don't have your outfit on. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But first, we're going to pray. Dear Lord, thank you for our time. Help us to enjoy it. Help us to think about you as our greatest superhero. We're going to talk about why you are that today and how you made us superheroes already. If we know you as our Savior... You gave us some superpowers right from that moment. We're going to talk about that. Some of these kids and some adults might not realize they can do things that even superheroes can't. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, how many of you guys, the kids, how many have been here oh, both nights? You've been here the whole time, haven't you? Yeah. We've been having a good time. And we did something the first night where you got made my face all full of pain. You remember that? How many of you really enjoyed that? You've been talking about that. You like to throw things at me, don't you? Yeah, look at that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't have anything heavy. That's a good thing. They don't have anything heavy. So I'm going to need you to decorate something today. I brought something really cool. I brought it right over here. I brought it right here. We'll do that next. Yeah. I brought it. A beautiful picture of a flower. And you are going to like this. Watch this. I've been working on this. Doesn't it look beautiful? What do you think? You know what I think? What's wrong with it? You want colors on it? Yeah. Do I have to? Yeah. All right. But you remember what we did the first night when we had all our cans of paint? Yeah. Get them out again. Get your yellow can of paint. When I count the three, drop it on the ground. One. Uh, what comes after one? Yeah. Yeah. I forget. Two. Three. Go. Get, so get some red. We'll use some red. Get the big red can of paint. Get ready to drop it. One. What's that number? Yeah. Two. Two. Three. Get some other colors. Get any colors you want. And drop them. Another one. And another one. You got a lot of colors. Because we're going to need it for this, so I'm going to need you guys to help me. Now, start mixing up your paint. Remember, take the lid off. So you guys didn't even take the lid off. How can you be mixing it already? Take the lid off. Take the lid off that thing. We're also going to use this tool thing. I know it doesn't look impressive, but we'll find out just a minute. You got them all mixed up? Get ready to make a mess. I'm going to make it target. Wait a minute. We did this target thing last time, and I got that. That won't happen again, right? It will! What? Who said yes, it will? It's 
feel like you're planning it. You're not planning on hitting me, are you? Yeah! Right. Dip one hand into your favorite color. Dip another hand into your least favorite color. Now put one foot into another color. It's going to be messy. And then another one like this. Squish it around a little bit. Well, I count to three. Toss all the colors right here. So remember, this is the target. We're going to paint this. Remember, this. Not this. This is me. Get ready. One, two, three. Toss it! Who's picturing it all over my nose? Every single person. Some of you adults too, that's scary. Okay. Alright. We're gonna see how we did. Let's see how we did. Set this here, I think we can see it. Wait, there is some color. We might actually did something. Don't you hear this? Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? How many of you were just aiming for me? That's why that happened. You weren't looking at the flower at all, were you? Just alright, thank you. Think about the flower, the flower, okay? Flower, not, not Mr. J, I know that's one that hit me. Get all the way in there. I hope this works this time. I got, I got the end of that thing. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we got the end. There's that red splotch. Now, you ready? Get your colors. One hand back into your favorite color. Other hand into your least favorite color. One foot, other foot. Squish it around a little bit. That marks mine. When I count to three, aim it right here. So you're going to straighten all that off. And think bigger, too. Think big. Get ready. One, two, three. Toss it. You got me with the stuff between your toes. That was gross. Yes, Let's have a look. We got the wave is bigger. Okay, it's bigger. Is it better though? Let's see. Whoa. Give yourselves a big round of applause. There it is. That's one big flower. You know what, though, Miss Haley? It's not real. Is it? It's cute and everything. And I like it, but it's not the real thing, even though it looks really, really cool. You know what? We're talking about superheroes. Now, superheroes are a lot of fun, but we kind of know they're not real. I've never really seen yeah. Superman in white and there. It's cool to think about. I got a guy flying up here, but I've never really seen Superman. Only when I went to the movies or watched him on TV. Batman's never really shown up when I needed help, man. It'd be cool if he did. Oh, they heard this. That'd be cool if he never showed up, yeah. Not even Aquaman. Who likes Aquaman? I saw him in the last movie. Hey, Aquaman guy's pretty cool. And, but I've been waiting for them, and they just haven't shown up. So how do we get something real? We're talking about superheroes and how God helps us. So we're going to talk about that today, and I'm going to need some helpers in just a couple minutes, too. But first, Miss Kathleen, did you bring the super colors? Yes. Yeah, I brought my super colors. I noticed most superheroes, they kind of wear the same colors. A lot of them do. They want to be bright. That's why I wore my red jacket. Let me see if I grab these without dropping them. Here we go. What do you got here? Got it, got it, got it, got it. My favorite colors. What color is this? I love red. Superman wears red. Who wears green? Yeah, there you go, the Hulk. He is green, isn't he? He doesn't even, he's all green. I like the Hulk. How many of you like him? Hulk smashes everything. What a messy guy. I don't know if you want him around the house. I'm not sure about that. But we're talking about things in the real blue. Who wears blue? He's Superman. He's got some blue on his. He wears red, white, and blue. And red. We talked about the red. I love red. But we're talking about things that are real today. We are. We had some. Made. These are much better than just okay. picture flowers. And they're it's for the flock cooler, isn't it? We are going to have someone help in just a couple minutes, Miss Catherine. Hold on to my flowers for me. We're going to do a lot of different things. We're even going to have. We're not doing everything today. We've had a lot of help this week. We have had people from this church helping. Yeah, we're going to talk about them in a while. They're going to help us later on. But before they do that, those flowers were nice, weren't they? But they weren't, no, they were not as impressive as they could be. Superheroes do impressive things, don't they? Yeah. What kind of things can Superman do? <laughs> just about anything. Unless there's kryptonite around, right? Then he's not so strong. But as long as there's none of that stuff laying around, he can just about lift, push, carry anything he wants to. And Batman, well, his superhero, remember the movie? What's your superhero power? I'm rich. That's, that's Batman, that's what he said. He's got some cool stuff, but he likes the rich part better. And the rest of them all have special powers, don't they? Things they can do better than anybody else. God has powers, things he can do better than anyone else. And you know what we've been talking about is that each one of us has a superpower that God has given us. It's called the spiritual gift. Each one of us has a gift inside of us that we need to unleash and start using for God. So that's what we're talking about. That's here. right, unleash you know that superhero. Know? When we unleash that superpower, then God gives us more and more and more blessings. He can, we can do things that some people consider impossible. And yes, they right. can, yeah. <sighs> this is cool. Well, actually, it's just a two. But you have to use your imagination. We want something big to happen, right? Yes, we do. 
Okay, I think I want you to think big. When I count to three, think big and impressive, right? One, two, three. Uh, well, we can decorate the whole stage. I'm going to put mine right down here. It needs a little brightness right about there. And so God can do so many things. How is he going to unleash our superhero? We're going to talk about how if you know Jesus as your Savior. How many have accepted Jesus as your Savior already this week? For the first time ever. Well, look at the hands, everyone. Give him a big round of applause. Yes. That means God's going to unleash some stuff in your life that you never thought possible. And you can do it right now. But some people just don't know about it. And we're going to talk about exactly how they can do that thing. I like your outfit, by the way. Wonder Woman. Cool. Why, thank you. Do you have that lasso and everything? I was just wondering. <laughs> I wonder if you had one somewhere. I wanted to see if you did. No, okay, whatever. Well, okay. I just wondered. Ms. Kathleen, we haven't been just doing magic this week, though. We've been doing other things, too. We've had some goofy characters. I mean, you guys like them. They get in a lot of trouble, don't they? Yeah. They certainly get in a lot of trouble. I don't know. Not, I never get in any trouble, but they do, right? Look at that look I got. Well, maybe sometimes I do. I'm kind of weird. Who else goes around dressed like this, right? And she's like, don't wear that outside. And I wear this stuff, and she's like, oh, you go in first, and I'll come and answer is what she usually tells me. Right? <laughs> and they won't go over together, and then and I always wind up, I go right through, this is my wife, Kathleen. Yeah. Yeah. And then people just kind of walk away like that. But we have so much fun. The Bible says we're strange and peculiar people. Yes, you certainly can. Oh, look who's talking. Look at that outfit. God has a sense of humor. You know how you can tell that? Just look at who's sitting next to you right now. Oh, oh that's for sure. Right. He's got a sense of humor. He knows how to make us laugh. He wants us to have a great time. He just wants to be bored in life. Miss Kathleen, I'm going to check out and see if it's back there. Going on with the puppets this weekend. There's only one way to say good morning. 
Are you sure about this? I think you can fly with your throat! Yes, I do. Oh, Tweedmore. There you are. I love you. 
back to see my superpower? Well, I don't think this is going to Close your eyes and count to three. <laughs> Two. Three. <laughs> First crowd. That was my right foot.
learn a few things. If you don't know how to do what you um, get this from God, then guess what? It's going to keep working on it, and God will give you the strength to do it. If you have something, a problem with one of your neighbors, you need to go take care of it. Because each one of us have a superhero to unleash. That we can only unleash it if God gives us the power to do it. And we can't do that if we have some kind of um, sinner, um, unforgiveness in our heart.
the data. Yeah, you bet that is since we're 16. <laughs> it's a long time. It's a long, 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 long,
little more apart. Okay, put them back together. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, a special paper order. We're going to use some of this, and I'm going to teach you some magic. Now, wait one minute, kids. We, you may see. Well, they might on. notice. Well, they might notice. You yeah. might notice. If you notice, put your hand up your mouth. Don't say anything Do until later. Do not say anything. Okay. She'll be surprised, but you might see how it's done. You never know. We've got a better view. Are you ready? Let me show you how to make this look. Even though it's not a really big piece of paper, we're going to try to make it this big. Okay? Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I'm going to put it in my hands like this. I'm going to go one, two, three, and say, which hand did it? Which hand did it? This one? See how easy it's going to be good at this? Woo! That's right. Now, I'm going to try to be a little faster because you're good at this. All right? So, here we go. I'm going to get real close so you can see everything. One, two, three. Paper's too small. We'll get some more paper. We need a little more paper. Okay, that's good. Well, that's a lot of paper. You never use this much, right? I get yelled at for that. Man. She yells at me all the time. I try not to. This is going to be harder for me to hide. I'll do my best. Wow, how am I going to ever hide that from you guys? Okay, well, I'll do my best. Remember, we're going to go one, two, three. We'll test. We'll change it in. You got it. Okay, good. It's going to be harder. I'm going to go faster. One, two, three. Need more paper. We get more paper this time. Bam! That ought to work. I'm sorry. It might take a little too much. I don't think I'm going to be able to hide this. Okay, I'll do my best. Wow, look at that one. Okay, okay I'll do my best. You're going to be able to see that. Is that you? Yeah, 
Keep going, a little more. My left side right there, we got it. Well, I count to three here. Let them go. And my dad said, you can do anything with imagination. It's true. I said, Dad, will this work forever? He said, well, as long as your imagination works. And I thought about something. You know what? Some people think they don't come to church because they think we don't have any fun. They think knowing God is boring. Oh, they don't know all the great things we learned. They don't know that God's going to tell us how we're superheroes. And some people don't realize that. They watch all these superheroes on TV and in movies and on the videos, and they think that's it. There's something even better to say. Oh, man. Uh, oh, my goodness. Don't you worry over time. Did we do this already? What's this? Oh, no. Oh, come on back. Come on back. You were so good the first time. Maybe this one's not long. No, maybe it is. Okay. Oh, there's the end. There's the end. Keep going. A little more. A little more. A uh, little more. A little more. Good job. Come on back this way. We're running it all up. So we can do anything. You know what? We have to believe. We have to believe that God makes us able to do things that are just impossible. Wait, there's one more thing. God wants to change us into something beautiful. Did you know that? He wants to change our entire life. He does? You like that's pretty cool. That is beautiful. I like that. And this bad land is all about that. We're going to talk about how God can do that. Thank you, Miss Kathleen. Give her a big round of applause. So, how do we get all this stuff from God? Does it just happen? Well, some of it does. You know what God says? God says if you pray, you can change things. Do you believe that? Yes. You mean some, things can be one way, and if enough of us pray, if it's God's will, things can actually change to something else? They can. You can do something big. You can actually change the world. Who's ever heard change the world? You can. You can pray for someone right from this stage that's in Africa. To have, they, they get some people take that hope some people come to know Jesus and they can call and say for the first time a bunch of people accepted Jesus. And you're wondering, did God hear all the way from here? He can hear us wherever we are, can't he? He always knows where we are. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, do we have time for a fun one? Yeah, let's do a fun one. Come on. It'll be quick. That's fun. I'll need your help. I got a bunch of stuff over. I'm gonna need a helper. No, this one's kind of strange. I might need an adult for this one, too, though. Who could I pick to help with something? Well, young gentlemen, right in the front, come on up here. Y'all said, you know my toilet paper. You don't have any lanterns. This one's easy, though. We're going to have fun. Well, I've seen magicians do tricks where they say, I can tell what you're thinking. They really can, but they tell, they tell people. Only God really knows what we're thinking, doesn't he? He knows all the time. So if someone says, I know everything you've done, don't worry about it. They really can't tell, but we're going to try something next time. It's up to them, though. So you got the easy job. Now. You sit and relax. They have to figure out what you're thinking. So the pressure's off you. So you relax. you're relaxing today. Okay, we're doing all the work here. We're relaxing. <laughs> Take it easy. It's up to them. If it doesn't work, it's all them. Now it's perfect. We're going to have them pick something. And then you're only not going to show them what you picked. You are going to know. They've got to kind 